Now, throughout this campaign, I keep hearing the same question from voters who aren't already committed to one of you. What's the difference between these two? So let's try to give them some clarity tonight. What is the most important difference between you and your opponent? One minute. John, thank you. And thank you all for being here tonight. Look, I believe you deserve more out of your senator. If there's a connective thread between the election of Donald Trump, the devastation of COVID-19, and this moment of racial justice, it's that we have a government that is disconnected from its people. We have a middle class, an economy that makes it almost impossible to be middle class, a health care system where the sick can't afford care, a, a justice system where black and brown lives are stolen. And we have politicians in Washington that think that these problems are going to be solved in some back room someplace, not in our communities here at home. And that's why I'm running. That's the biggest difference between myself and Senator Markey. Senator Markey doesn't live here. He spent less time in the state than Elizabeth Warren did when she was running for president. And he says that he needs to be in Washington voting for us. But he missed over 50% of the votes in this critical time of COVID-19, a public health and economic catastrophe. Oh, we need more out of this seat. Okay, and if elected, I'll give it to you. Time, same question, Senator Markey. Uh, thank you, John, Congressman Kennedy. I know that so many of the voters are sitting at home right now with a ballot to decide who to vote for. I know many are considering me because of my proven leadership and experience. And I know that many are looking at Congressman Kennedy uh, through all of his negative ads that he's been running on television. Um, he keeps using the word change. Well, the people in Massachusetts don't need to make a choice because I represent experience and change at the same time. I do both. I am inspiring a generation of young people to rise up on the Green New Deal and other issues to get into politics in our country. Congressman Kennedy, when he uses the word change, he means something different. He's changed his position on Medicare for All. He's changed his position on PROMESA, which is hollowing out Puerto Rico. He's changed his position uh, on the issue uh, of uh, super PACs. He's changed his position on the racist fraternity. That's his own words that he ha was in for 20 years and he only okay. uh, left that fraternity at, at one month before this campaign you began. Can, and, it's a, and, and it is a fraternity inspired by Robert E. Lee. You can you expand cannot, on this changing the open rebuttal. Let's, let's go to our open so, rebuttal. Go ahead. So, uh, Senator, Ed, You've known me my whole life. It is sad to hear you say those things. Um, you're running on your record. So let's examine that record. You say that you stand for racial justice. You voted for three strikes, you're out. You voted for mass incarceration. You opposed the integration of the Boston public schools. And when a, young, when a mom and dad came to you to ask for, their just, for justice from their murdered black son, you literally did nothing to help them. You say you stand for economic equity. One of the proudest bills that you say you passed was the Telecommunications Act, which led to thousands of people losing their jobs here in Massachusetts. And when those workers went to meet with you, you wouldn't even meet with them. You say that Let's you stand for the, 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 the change that we bring. You voted for the Iraq War, which continues to send young men and women to the Middle East to fight for a war that didn't begin until after, before they were born. Let them respond. Yeah. Um, on the issue of racial justice, in 1973, there was no black Senate seat in Massachusetts. I had to side with Bill Owens, with Mel King, and Doris Bunty to cast a vote <coughs> to defy the Democratic leadership that was not going to allow a black Senate seat to be created in the state of Massachusetts. I did so jeopardizing my own relationship with the leadership. I did that. On the issue of ensuring that every child gets the internet on their desk for learning, that's my program. Rich or poor, every child has the internet on their desk. That's my program. With Cory Booker, I have introduced the Next Step Act to overhaul the uh, the criminal justice system in our country. With Kamala Harris, I have introduced the legislation to provide $2,000 per individual in our country per month in order to make sure that they get what they need for health care 
that, that they get what they need for food, for rent, for the mortgage, so they can pay the bills every single month. Rep that is my leadership Senator, on those issues. Senator, so this is important. A mom and dad came to you to ask for justice for their murdered son. They came to you as their United States Senator, as somebody in a position of power who they thought could help them rectify what had happened to their slain young boy. And when they came to you to ask for help, you did nothing. The only thing you did months later was sign on to a letter that my office put together. I have stood by that family through thick and thin, year after year since, pushing on the Department of Justice, pushing on authorities in New York, doing everything we possibly can and continue to this day. So it's great that you talk about the things that you might have done or the bills that you might have passed while you were just trying to fight for that seat that you say that Mr. Owens had. You were opposing the integration of the Boston Public Schools. Re response. Look it. The Henry family deserves justice. I can't fathom the pain which the Henry family must feel for the loss of a child. The pain is unimaginable. But what Congressman Kennedy is saying, it's just not true. I have two letters right here that Congressman Kennedy and I wrote in 2014 to Eric Holder, the Attorney General of the United States, to ask for an opening of a case to provide justice for the Henry family. In May of 2014, we wrote to Eric Kohler. In December of 2014, with Elizabeth Warren, we also wrote to make sure that there would be an opening of this case. So when Congressman Kennedy says that I did nothing, he knows it's not true. Senator, He knows know. it is a falsehood, Here's and he keeps repeating it because back then I stood with him to fight to make sure that this case was opened. Go ahead. Let's get, let's get this very clear. It's not my words that said you did nothing. It's Mr. Henry's words who said that you did nothing. You signed a letter, Senator, that my office put together after months of trying to get you on that letter. Now, it's great that you signed it, but for those out there that are wondering what the difference is between myself and Senator Markey, this is literally it. When, you say, when I say that there's more to this job than the bills that you file and the votes that you cast, this is it. Because I pushed on the Obama administration. I pushed on the authorities in New York. I pushed on them in, in Washington, D.C. We filed legislation. I've met, with, I met repeatedly with the family. I've attended their benefit every year, or almost every year, that they started in honor of their son to provide scholarships for uh, underprivileged kids. And I'm still in contact with some of your Senate colleagues today pushing on this administration, pushing on authorities in New York City. Why? Because you're a U.S. Senator, and I'm a congressman, you, and there's something what you can do about it when a parent asks you for justice for their murdered son. Go ahead. And you had that it, choice, it, it is, it, and you didn't. We, look it. You, it's you just said not that you deserve justice. It is, it is, they, they it, didn't it, get it from let, their let office. Let them respond. They didn't get it from you. It, it, it is just not true what Congressman Kennedy is saying. I have a letter here with his signature next to mine. Not on one letter, two letters, right next to each other, our names asking Eric Holder of the Justice Department to open an investigation. So when he says, I did nothing, he knows it's not true. He knows it's a falsehood. He keeps making a false accusation that I did nothing. And he keeps repeating it, knowing that that is completely and totally not true. And so the evidence is right here. The letters are right here. And we acted together as partners. And that was right, that we should do so. But to say I did not partner with him is just absolutely untrue. It's a misrepresentation. It is a falsehood. And he should just stop saying it. So we have every parent out there of a child. If you believe, if your son was murdered, your young boy was murdered by a police officer, and you came to a United States senator, and you asked for their help, and the response that you got was months later to sign a letter I ask you if you think that that is sufficient. I don't. Oh. Apparently, Senator Markey does. I'll give you the final word on this, again, and it, then I want to move on. It is not one letter, it's two letters. And our staffs work together in drafting the, the, drafting the language in those letters. So again, what he's saying is not true. What he's saying is a misrepresentation. And I just absolutely think he should stop it, okay. uh, because otherwise, these signatures of myself, 
and him and Elizabeth Warren on these letters uh, is I, absolutely something point, that I, I he is disrespecting in terms of the partnership we created to help to get justice I, for the Henry family. Last point. I want to move on, but super okay, fast, last please. Point. It's not my criticism, Senator, that you should be concerned about. Those words as they're saying you did nothing aren't mine. They're DJ's father. Equ they're coming from the family. That's the issue. Equal not time. with me. Equal time. Well, again, Congressman Kennedy is making these charges right now. Okay. And it's not true. Okay. He knows it's not true and he should not <clears throat> be making the charges. Right. He knows better. All right.